Hey everybody, this is Jason with Lone Star Catfish. I'm out of breath because I just paddled out here and I dropped two lines in the water, three lines total in the water, and I didn't even have my equipment out and set up other than the bait and the rods. And I had two fish in the boat, uh, and I'm going to show you those here in just a second. Um, so, another quick evening trip. I don't remember where I left off. Um, approaching front tomorrow morning, so I don't have a lot of daylight, but as I've said in other videos, I want to take advantage of these approaching fronts. I feel like the fish are biting when that pressure is dropping and the pressure is dropping, and it's about 28.8 and falling. Um, and so, uh, I'm doing really just one thing different tonight. My other trip, um, towards the end of the trip, I dropped one of my lines down to the bottom and cranked it up a little bit, whereas I normally fish at six, six and a half feet, which, and this is about eight feet here. So I went ahead and dropped it down to the bottom because, uh, uh, and then I ended up catching about a 22 inch blue cat and he had some mud on it. And what that told me was those bigger fish are laying down there in the mud. And so if I want to come out here and target these bigger fish, uh, let me go ahead and go a little bit deeper. Uh, my baits are average um, size, um, nothing huge, but I'm not going teeny tiny, so just good size. I've got 3 aught, 4 aught, and 5 aught double action circle hooks working. Um, so these two rods over here are on the bottom and reeled up. This one over here, I'm going to go ahead and fish it at the 6 foot like I've been doing um, and see what's going on there. So, so far it hasn't been touched while these other two have been wearing me out. So um, my fish finder has decided not to work tonight. Fortunately, I'm fishing in a spot that I know well, so I don't really need it, other than it's fun to sometimes see what's going on down there. Not working, I'll fiddle with that a little bit to see if maybe I just got a loose connection or maybe it got wet or something. Um, but that's gonna be it. Again, I have less than two hours right now to fish, and then I'm gonna head back in. Um, so I'm gonna get right to it. Well, I didn't have time to get the camera set up or anything before this guy went down. So I did have, I did manage to get my chest camera on. All right, so right off the bat, we're at 22 and a half. I think my camera is probably crooked. I might have to fix it in a minute. So we're at 22 and a half to start. That line wasn't in the water 60 seconds, and that went down. And I hope that is recording. But I know my chest cam is recording here. So let's get him. So here we go, 22 and a half right off the bat. All right. Oh my Lord. There's another one. Oh, oh, worth the trip tonight already. all wrapped up in this thing, spun around it so many times. Oh, jeez. I tell you, I did not even get a chance to get set up here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's fish number two. I've been here five minutes. Oh, my Lord. All right. That's 28 inches. 28 inches. All right, y'all. Five minutes at most that I've been here. Both of these left rods buried. 22 
inch, 28 inch, right off the bat. Oh, look at that. Now this is why I paddle out here. That is beautiful. Oh, I gotta catch my breath. I had caught my breath in paddling out here. <laughs> okay, buddy. Be free. There he goes. There he goes. All right, so if you can't already tell, just either through the wind noise or just watching me rock up and down, I've got a pretty stiff wind coming straight out of the southwest, which means it is blowing almost directly into this bank, just you know, maybe, maybe at a 45. Uh, so and that is the widest part of the lake at this point. So that means I'm getting no, there's no buffer from the wind, right? It's it's coming, um, you know, it's probably a mile across the lake, so it's having a chance to build up that. So I've got some pretty good waves here, doing a lot of bouncing around. Uh, but again, I'm gonna take advantage of that, you know, as far as what it's blowing into this bank right here, uh, and into this deep area, and hopefully uh, there's bait fish down there, um, and, and the, the big fish are gonna follow. So um, I'm just gonna have to ride out some bumps um, for a couple hours. And then it'll basically be crosswind going back, which not fun paddling because one side of me gets wet the whole way. Uh, but it's, it's better than it if we're a headwind. So and tomorrow it will be as that front comes through. So definitely want to get the fishing in today and not tomorrow. Cold, rainy. Um, and, you know, for Houston, cold is, you know, over 30s, so over 40s. And I don't want to be out here. Given, I think I've given this guy long enough. Well, I sure don't feel anything. I mean, I, I feel something on there, but he is—he's hooked. He ain't very big. Not much to him, 14 inches maybe, 13. I've got things, basically the same thing on both of these rods here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him back, and see what else I got going here. Okay, so I got about 20 minutes left um, for as fast of a start as I had. It has been a very slow evening. Um, I've caught two more fish uh, since those first two big ones, um, and, and neither of them were really of any size. Uh, that, that last one I just threw back. I mean, he, he was decent, but um, you know, challenge with him is he swallowed the hook, and when you swallow a circle hook. It's very difficult to get out. I, I did my best. I got it out. He was still kicking when I tossed him back in. I haven't seen him float up anywhere yet, so hopefully he's got a fighting chance. Uh, but if not, you know, he's just going to go back to the food chain here. Um, everything else has just been nibbles and, and little dinks. Just tugging on the line one way or the other, never really hooking up. Um, I've seen some bait fish hitting the water from time to time, and that seems to be about when I get those little dink taps, so they're probably chasing little schools. Um, but as far as big fish go, I haven't gotten any other takedowns. Um, I've fished on the bottom pretty much with all the rods. I even put this one on the right down on the bottom, um, deciding just to go ahead and go all in on that. Um, you know, and this was just a, a, a bigger go home kind of trip. Um, so and that's what I'm about to do here in about 20 minutes. Uh, so hopefully I will have one to two more fish to show you here before I go. But if not, uh, that'll be it.
All right, so that is officially it for me. Um, you know, I tell you, with that fast start, you know, and knowing what I know now, um, I could have put the poles right back up and headed right back to the house and not missed a thing this evening. Um, it just has been zero action uh, or, or next to zero action um, since then. I, I've, I've caught two more small fish, um, and, and that's been it. There, there has been some dink bites, um, but, but but just barely barely pulling the rod tip down. Um, but you know, when you catch a couple fish like I did today, I, I have to say that that was good enough. I mean, a two-hour fishing. In fact, it's probably going to be less than two hours. I don't think I got lines in the water. Uh, I mean, it was less than two hours ago now. So, and I'm fixing to pull up here in four minutes. So, um, hard to complain about that uh, for a short evening trip to big fish like that. So, um, but that's going to be it. You know, like I said, front coming through tomorrow. So the rest of this week is out. And, um, you know, we'll just have to wait for the next uh, decent weather day and uh, we'll give it another shot. So, you know, until then, we'll see you. Oh, baby, too much attention, not enough attention.